Understanding the 4% rule for retirement planning. 4% rule is one of the easiest way to plan retirement. Let's understand more in this video here. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Eva Wong, your wealth coach on the journey to achieving early retirement. If you want to learn how to become financial savvy and to retire early, please subscribe to my channel here. When planning for retirement, it's crucial to determine how much you can safely withdraw from your retirement savings each year without running out of money. One popular guideline often discussed is the 4% rule. Let's break down what this rule means and how they can help you plan a secure retirement. The 4% rule suggests that you can withdraw 4% of your retirement savings in your first year of retirement and then adjust that amount for inflation each year thereafter. Example, if you have 1 million saved for retirement, you withdraw 40,000 which is 4% of 1 million in your first year. If inflation is 2%, you will increase your withdrawal to 40,800 in the second year. The 800 is equivalent to 40,000 times 2%. So that's how we get the second amount additional adjustment for 2% inflation. What if the second year has higher inflation like 3%? Then you use the first year withdrawal of 40,000 times 3% which is 1,200. Hence the total withdrawal is 40,000 plus 1,200. What if there is lower inflation of 1%? Then you use 40,000 times 1%. Hence, the total withdrawal will be 40,400. This method is very easy to understand and apply. Based on past market performance, it has been generally effective. The 4% rule is a popular guideline for determining how much you can withdraw from your retirement savings each year. While it provides a useful framework, it has several limitations that retirees need to consider. First is the market volatility. The 4% rule is based on historical market performance and assumes consistent returns. In reality, market conditions can be highly volatile. During a market downturn, your portfolio's value may decrease significantly. Withdrawing 4% of this portfolio can then accelerate losses and deplete your savings faster. Second is inflation variability. The 4% rule does not account for periods of high inflation which can erode purchasing power more quickly than anticipated. If inflation rates are higher than historical averages, the fixed withdrawal amount adjusted only slightly for inflation might not be sufficient to cover rising costs. Third limitation, longevity risk. The rule assumes a 30 years retirement period which may not be sufficient for everyone. People living longer than expected may outlive their savings if they strictly follow the 4% rule without adjustment. Limitation number four, changes in spending needs. The 4% rule assumes that spending needs remain relatively constant throughout retirement adjusted only for inflation. In reality, retiree spending patterns can change significantly due to health issues, lifestyle changes, or unexpected expenses requiring more flexible withdrawal strategies. Limitation 5. Tax considerations. The 4% rule does not account for taxes, which can vary based on the type of account, taxable, tax defer, or tax free from which withdrawals are made. While the 4% rule offers a useful starting point for retirement planning, it's essential to recognize its limitations and adapt your strategy accordingly. By staying flexible and regularly review your plan, you can better navigate the complexities of retirement and ensure financial security. That's all for my sharing this time. If you find this information helpful, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell for more informative content. As always, if you have any question or suggestion for my future video, do leave me a comment below. I shall see you in my next video. Bye!